Hello, hello, good evening. Good evening. How are you doing? Hey, good evening. Fine. Good evening. How's everything? Thank you very much for for joining. I can see we have a lot of people today. That's okay. awesome. How was your day? ¿Cómo estuvo su día? How was it? Very well. Fine. I'm working. Fine. Oh, you're working. Okay, so doing home office. That's awesome. Yeah, All right, that's that's really good. So thanks everybody for joining uh, today's session. Um, I see today we have, uh, let me see, Hector, Yvette, Melvin, Mr. Molina also. I can see, uh, let's see Tatiana, Robin, Roxana, all right. And I really hope more people can join um, this session too. So thank you very much. Give me just a second. All right, there we go. So um, for today, there was a little homework. I don't know if you remember. So you have to check uh, station number one. D did you get online? Did you check the platform? Were you able to complete it? Or, or at least, you know, to, to take a look at some exercises? Who has checked it? ¿Quién la revisado? Who has like, you know, gone online? Well, in my case, um, yes? um, I have a question. Sure, tell me. For the exercise. Oh, all right, okay. What is the exercise number? Uh, well, in the lesson two. Mm -hmm. um, let me check. Or, or if you can lie, um, well, I guess more people will be connecting in a couple of seconds. So Roxana, what we can do is, if you can like um, take a, a screenshot or a picture, you know, of the exercise. Uh, so maybe I, I, you can send it to my to my WhatsApp, and okay. and so yeah. So maybe we can check it. Um, yeah, there's no problem about it. So um, uh, well, we're going to get started with today's session. Okay, we are going to leave some minutes uh, by the end of the of the session to check, you know, um, any question, to clarify anything that you may, um, any question you may have? All right, just give me a second. Okay, there we go. So this is session number two, okay? And uh, this is the objective that we have for today. We are going to be working on two important topics today. One of them is conjunctions. So we are going to be working with and, that, however, and the, all right? And also we are going to have a little introduction of uh, the model, should. So this is in station 1.5 and 1.6. So you can also check um, that part. Also part of the, of the agenda, so we're going to be checking, uh, we're going to be practicing the conversation. Then we are going to complete some exercises um, along with the grammar aspect. And then we're going to have like some minutes so we can have free practice, okay? And then some seconds for, for questions. Um, first, I would like to um, share with you a little conversation. I really hope you have already listened to this one. If not, no problem. We are going to listen to this one right now. Give me just a second here. Okay, just a minute. All right. Okay, allow me just a second. I want to share uh, with you guys the, the conversation that we have and uh, which is about like recommendations and should, okay. It is still 
charging here. Okay, so um, I, I hope you, you can take a look at this one. Either way, this is in the platform, all right? So I want you to take a look at this one. The name of it is, what should I see? And uh, you have this like conversation and it's kind of blurred, but uh, um, we are going to practice this one. So we are going to listen to the conversation and uh, we are going to um, repeat it, okay? So, okay, this is the one I'm ready. Give me a sec. Okay, I'm going to be sharing an audio. So if you can just confirm if you can listen to this one, please. Hi, I want you to listen to this conversation and try to identify the modal verbs which are being introduced. Are you able to listen to this one? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Awesome. In this audio program, also, it is re recommended for you to practice this conversation with someone else. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Okay, so we are going to listen to the conversation and we are going to repeat, okay? The first part says, can you tell me a little bit about Mexico City? So please repeat after you, me. Can you tell me a little bit about, about Mexico City? Very good. Sure I can. What would you like to know? Sure I can. Okay. 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 Would you like to know? Like, like, know. Okay. Well, what's a good time to visit? I th well, well, yeah. good time. what's a good time? What's a good time to visit? visit? Okay. I think you can go anytime. The weather is always nice. Thank you. Thank you. I think you can go anytime. It's always nice. All right. Oh, good. And what should I see there? Well, you should definitely visit the National Museum. Oh, oh, good. And I, what I, I should go go I, Why should I yeah. definitely visit that national well, museum? Yeah. And go to the palace. Yeah. 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 But the connection is in a stable picture. Oh, For a moment, I hear you, and a moment, no, not here. Nothing at all. Okay. Um, can you hear me now? Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. What's up? Yeah, um, something was happening. I don't know what happened here. All right, give me just a quick second. All right. Museum and go to the Palace of Fine Arts. And what else? Oh, you shouldn't miss. Okay, so this was pretty much, uh, they're talking about going to this place, right? And they are recommending, like, going to the National Museum and to the Palace of Fine Arts, all right? So please uh, repeat after me. Will, you should definitely visit the National Museum. Well, you should well, definitely visit the, the National Museum. Museum. Yeah. And go to the Palace of Fine Arts. Go to the, go to the Palace of Fine Arts. Fine Arts. Fine Arts. What else? What else? What else? You shouldn't miss the pyramid of the sun. Okay. Oh, you shouldn't, you shouldn't miss the pyramid, pyramid, of, the pyramid of, the of the sun. It's very interesting. It's very, very interesting. 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 It all sounds really exciting. It all, it all sounds all really sounds exciting. 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 Thank you. Um, exactly. Thank you. So, uh, okay, so they are using here some words, for example, dance is play. <laughs> Please close the micro. Yeah, um, okay, I'm okay. All of them in mute. Okay, so uh, give me a second. Let me just have them all in mute. All right, so um, we are having like these words okay we are having for example and you should visit this place and you should visit the other one so we are using some uh, conjunctions right here all right conjunctions the other words that connect ideas so normally for example we have this word that is that 
So this one connects a positive idea of the sentence. Let's take a look at some examples. Uh, we have here, the park is clean, coma. This coma is important, um, especially before that, all right? So it helps us um, to split it clean, but it is very small. Something positive and also something negative. If you pay attention to the second word, expanded. So this is the positive aspect, right? And this is the negative aspect. So it is good, but it is expensive. So if you remember, expensive means caro, right? Yeah. So with a really um, high cost. Are we good? Is that okay? Yes. Okay. Uh, yes. okay. So far with the use of but? No, if, you know, um, I'm, I'm trying to modify, please let me know. Okay. I can hear you. I hear you. Okay, hold on. I don't know, but my, I don't know, but my area is um, five. For moments, I hear you, and moments, uh, nothing at all. I don't hear you. Okay, uh, can you hear me now? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Very well. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, um, something is going on. I hope I can fix it in in some seconds. But um, if you know there is like um interference or something uh, please i will really appreciate if you can use the chat and you can let me know please okay okay thank you thank you i hope um i can fix this problem okay so um are we okay with the part of but how to use but Uh, when if there is like if you have any question you know please let me know okay um now let's take a look at this other conjunction we have uh, two more we have the and we have however you will see that um the idea is pretty similar to that mm -hmm. all right so we use however and the to put two ideas together, two sentences together. But the structure is a little different. So here, for example, let's take a look at Do. It's a big city. It is not too crowded, Do. So Do, but, and however, they have the same idea, but the structure is different. Whenever we use Do, Do normally goes at the end of the sentence. So you have positive and negative ideas, all right? Okay. okay. Yes. Yeah. yes. We are going to practice this in a second, okay? So no worries. Now let's take a look at the use of however, all right? He is really good looking. He's not nice, however. So one more time, if you pay attention to the sentences, though and however, they are used at the end of the sentence, and there is a comma before them. Comma before the, comma before however. But the idea is exactly the same as but. So one good idea, one bad idea, one positive and one negative. So imagine, for example, that we are describing in El Salvador. Can you tell me something, um, something positive about the country? We like to work. I'm so sorry, uh, could you repeat that, please? The people in El Salvador like to work. Oh, okay, perfect. So we are hardworking people, right? Um, now, taking that into account, can you tell me something negative or, yeah, a negative about Salvadoran? Um. So something positive is that we are hardworking. What about the negative aspect of Salvadorian citizens? It's a small city. Okay, the country is small. What about people? Oh. Something um, negative? 
let's say for example that we are hard working but we procrastinate procrastinate means dejar todo para el último minuto all right yes. so i think that that is yes. a characteristic okay so that's the now um let's say um for example salvadorian citizens are hard working then um they to procrastinate a lot though so what i'm saying is something positive and something negative but negative. the connector comes at the end all right so you are going to um use them actually in this very moment what i want you to do is to write one only one sentence using though and one sentence using however okay um about the country it can be about it can be about um the the, the country of the people about it. So i will give you a couple of minutes all right um like a pen and paper so write sentences only one and one one using though when you think however please whatever country teacher no our country okay so yeah. you were something about el salvador oh. i am right here so if you have any questions let me know okay I have a question, teacher. Hello, Roberto. Yes, sure. Tell me, how can I help? How can I help you? And in the sentences. Hello. I'm so sorry. Could you repeat? Middle and the end in the sentences. Put it in middle or final. Last. Teacher. Hello, hello, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Give me just a second. Hello. Hello, hello. Can you hear me now? Hello. I hear you, teacher. Yes. Yes, I hear you. Oh, okay, okay. Yes, I guess some people, um, you know, mentioned that, that you, you couldn't. All right. So, I'm so sorry, Roberto. I was not able to get your question. Tell me. Yes, it can conjunction go to go to the middle and the end of the sentences. ¿Dónde pueden ir al medio o al final de las oraciones? Okay, all right. Okay, what happens with conjunctions? It, uh, okay, um, I have a question here from Roxana about the use of doing. However, yeah, they have a very similar meaning. So if you pay attention here, the idea is that both connect positive and negative, pero, you know, both of them. Now, about the no. We cannot place them at the beginning in sentences. So I can have them in the middle, or in this case, I can have them at the end of the sentence. I was reading the lesson and the conjunction at in the middle, but the color goes to the end. I'm so sorry, maybe give me just a second. I'm, um, I'm still having some issues with the listening. Give me a second. I will fix this. Thank 
Hello. Hola, hola. Hello, hello. Yes, I'm over here. I'm just trying to to fix the, the issue I have with the listening. For example, teacher, um, when the beginning of the week in El Salvador is is a uh, heavy rain mm -hmm. for two days. Mm -hmm. However, however, um, we we expect a, a heavy rains and uh, Thursday and Friday. Mm -hmm. um, your your sentence is fine. Mm -hmm. But uh, remember that the use of however is like using but. Like, for example, we had some mm -hmm. rains. However, mm -hmm. we expected, um, well, yeah, because you are using um, how however as but. Hello. 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 Where are you? Yes, I hear you. Yes, I'm so sorry about it. Yes. Yes, yes, I, I know. Thank you. I'm, I'm just trying to, to fix the little problem I have here with the listening. Give me just a second. Hola. Hola. Hola, hola. Hola. Está fallando el internet. Yes. Teacher, teacher is um, I'm having some issues with the with the audio. So eh, I'm trying to change computer now. So si me pueden ayudar compartiendo las oraciones que tienen en el momento, se los agradecería. Así avanzamos tú. And uh, ahorita solo me voy a cambiar de computadora, all right? Okay. Oh.
Hello. Hey. Can, can you hear me now? Yep. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. we some echo. Awesome. Some echo. Awesome. Oh, is it better now? Much yes, better. yes. Yeah. Yes. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, my apologies. Um, and now we have a problem. So thank you. I I'm checking here that we have blank a sentence. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Okay, so we have in El Salvador, do Emerson, very good job. Situation blank that it can be duro, right? Let's be careful here, all right? So, do means sin embargo, uh -huh. es eh, tough, okay? Solamente también utilizan, um, let me see, let me just share a few columns. Good food, it is not say, ah, no, that's a really good one. Just a uh, audio person. Good food. But the rest is. Okay, let me see what else. Um, in El Salvador, very populated. All right, it is fine. Uh, only a spelling, just um, blank let's check a spelling. English class is so interesting, but some of us have connection problems. However, just Melvin, you're totally right, including myself. All right. <laughs> okay, very good, exactly. So that's the way we use the um, and however. So remember, que lo utilizamos como un bat. Um, any question? Do you have any question up to this point? A partner make a question if uh, oh. thought and however go to the end of the sentences and the conjunctions but like at end is in the middle of sentences. All right. Um, and is in the middle of the sentence, but is in the middle of the sentence. Here, however, and though we are using them at the end, okay, to sound more natural, but. There, that is not the, the only, okay, that is not the, the only place. Um, for example, here, one of you, uh, let me see, let me see, Roberto, for example, says, they worked hard for the test, coma, however, coma, they failed. So, esa es otra posición de however. So, however, puede ir en medio, solo que se usa punto coma, however, y luego una comita, or, como el ejemplo acá, usamos however okay, hasta el final. You. Um, you are so welcome. No problem, Robert. Okay, so let me just continue. Okay, y si tenemos una pregunta, utilizamos el chat, all right? Eh, si se me escapó esta pregunta, las disculpas, all right? So, well, that is the part of conjunction. Now, let's take a look at something very important here. I have a one short exercise, grammar exercise for you, about the use of N and but. So this is just limited to N and but. Remember that N is to have ideas, okay? So I'm having ideas, but it's like a contrast. I have two different ideas that I am connecting, okay? Sorry, no escucho. You. No, no, no. Uh, yes, I'm sorry. I, I, uh, so here we have conjunction. And, and. Y por acá la mano de Ro. So here vamos, uh, for example, how are you? And, and I the said very my boy. I saw my ex, I hate him. Hey, it's man. ugly. And now, ugly. if you pay attention here, there is some, um, there is like a blank. So we need to complete it with an or but. What can we use? And. and. Very and. good. Exactly. Um, now, let's take a look at the second one. Michelle says, oh, that's too bad. Well, I saw Kelly's new boyfriend yesterday. He's good looking. And or but? But. 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 Exactly. But he talks too much. All right. 
and says, well, Kelly is smart. And beautiful. And beautiful. And beautiful. Very and beautiful. good, exactly, and beautiful. She meets someone who will listen to her. Now, Anne says, oh, what happened to her last boyfriend? He was intelligent. Funny. And funny. And funny. And funny, exactly. Now, Mitchell says, uh, oh, what is me? But, 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 but he was, but, but he was wasn't excellent. very good. Exactly, okay. but he wasn't very good looking. So that is the idea, all right? Yes. And I agree with uh, Mas okay. Mas but okay. I will burn and go. So if you check this out, actually we have the answers right here. Okay, so ugly and dummy. Uh, but he talks too much, <laughs> smart and beautiful intelligent and funny Any. and the last one you mentioned is but he wasn't very good looking. he wasn't very good looking exactly now um there is just another topic where uh today that has been included in the objective that is um to use the model should let's take a look at this one if you remember the conversation at the very beginning said what should i see okay um let's repeat this one please should Repeat after Should. 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 What should I see? What should I see? What should I see? What should I see there? So, should I see there? We use this normally. What should I see there? What should I see there? Now, we use this to... Teacher, you are Second. Okay, for example, I have here, what should I see there? If I want to go to Los Planes de Renderos, for example, and I ask you, hey guys, I want to go to Los Planes de Renderos, what should I see there? So, should is like asking for recommendations. So, I want you to give me recommendations. Let's take a look how we give recommendations. Uh, we have here two examples. Uh, you should call your mother more often. They are very general examples, okay? Uh, he should apologize before she stops talking to him. Now, we use should to say, I recommend you, okay? I think this is a good idea. And then we use a verb. So you should, you should eat, you should visit, etc. cetera. So um, let's take a look at this one. This is Los Planes de Rendero, all right? I guess everybody has gone to Los Planes. Now the question is, what should I see there? Or where should I go in Los Planes de Renderos? Using should, can you give me some recommendation? You should see the capital. Okay, you thank should, you. You should eat the pizza. Oh yes, Pro, okay. Uh, can you tell me about the place? Where should I go and get pupusas? Mm, you should... Go to oh, I should go <laughs> to Los Planes. Okay, so I should go to Olo Quinta. Uh, what about Los you Planes? Go to what about Pupusas up in Los Planes? Uh, okay, but what about like the specific place? Because there are some pupuserias, right? And, and you, should... you should go to either bungalows. Oh, okay, so I should go to bungalows, you said. Okay, any that's other nice place. Oh, okay, okay. Bungalows, any other place that you recommend? Oh, oh, okay, not a problem. Uh, so I should you, go and eat pupusa. Yes, Melvin? You should go to the Balboas. Oh, park. Okay. okay, okay, I should go to Balboas Park. It you is should go to the Amate Chan Boutique. It's a hotel. Amate? Amate Chan. Where is that in Los Planes? I've never been in yeah. that hotel. So I don't know. Oh. Okay, I no, I have never been there either. So I think that's a really good recommendation. Perfect, there you go. <laughs> so this is the way we're, we're recommend things, okay. So I should go to Amate, I think you mentioned. I should eat pupusas, I should um, see, you know, the downtown city. I should go city. to Let drink a Coronado. Uh, right there, Los Planes. Okay, I definitely have. Panchimalco. 
Panchimalco is near to okay. Canada. Okay. Now, um, how can I make a negative statement? How can I make a negative sentence? Give me a second. Okay. What about negative sentences? Because, for example, I heard that Panchimalco is a little dangerous. So, my question is, should I go to Panchimalco or I should not? go to Panchimalco. What do you think? <laughs> you, should, you should go to be a careful. Oh, okay, I should be careful. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay, Natalie, hello, tell me. No, teacher, I'm... Oh, okay, it's fine, <laughs> not a problem. Okay, so th this is pretty much um, how we use to it for recommendations. Now, we are going to move to the um, speaking part, okay? And actually, the speaking part is about giving recommendations. Before just moving, let me check. Um, oh, Blanca says, I like Panchimalco. All right. I have never been to Panchimalco, to be honest with you. So maybe I should go to the place. Okay, very good. So um, we are going to have some speaking practice. I will give you some minutes, okay? And in groups. I want you to choose one place from El Salvador, okay? And I want you to give recommendations on what to do, what to eat, or where to go, all right? Like exactly the way you did it. Like, oh, you should go to, um, let me see, Zuolocuita, and you should eat some pupusas that are like four pupusas per dollar or something like that. You should walk, et cetera, okay? So give me just a second. I'm going to, uh, okay, I am going to make some groups here and uh, just talk to your classmates, say hello, and let's practice, all right? So here we go. I want you to just recommend places, okay? Ready? Are we ready? Yes. Okay. Uh, yes. Okay, awesome. Let's go ahead. It's uh, dangerous because uh, because, why? because uh, he, he, you need you need you need you need take a, a pickup 
and with the uh, this, with the strong street. Yes, uh, the, 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 highway is, the highway is, is dangerous, but uh, but in in uh, when you arriving uh, uh, in this place is uh, it's a weather and nice weather at at, at arriba. <laughs> I arriba the <laughs> clima is super nice. Uh, Yes. Uh, and okay. then, in um, case I recommend this place for oh, okay. when when you you can you can uh, go there is nice. Okay, thank you. Um, the next one, uh, Robert. Okay. Um, vamos a ver. Um, I am from Santa Tecla. Okay. And I highly recommend it for its cool climate. Uh, weather. Weather. Um, uh, weather. 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 Sorry. Weather. Ah, uh, clima. <laughs> uh, close to, uh, near to San Salvador and many shops. Okay. Um, Would guess very congested almost every day. Uh, I recommend it going to the shopping malls, Plus Merliot and multiplaza and uh, la gran vía etc okay and lately it's tourist santa tecla is is tourist now it's tall uh, it's tall it's the people frequent the people uh, frequently visit the, the place oh no uh, yes uh, i i visited the place and Hi everyone, and hi teacher. Hi and welcome teacher. back. I Thank you. listen that some of you were talking about. Well, you mentioned the places where you are from. Um, I just listened to a couple of you talking about Santa Tecla, for example, and giving recommendations. Um, who would like to share with us a you know a place, any place that you can recommend? Uh, sushi Toto, for example. Ah, okay. sushi what Toto. should I see there? Because uh, <clears throat> Sushi Toto, you can see a, a lake, Sushi Clan Lake, and you can taste uh, a different kind of food. And we have a uh, public transportation too, a uh, good transportation too. Okay, public, okay, public sounds good. Uh -huh. Okay, Templo. How do you say? Uh, <laughs> really? Oh my god. Yes. Okay. Oh my god. No, solo no falta. Si pueden abrir las puertas, ábranlas, all right, pero las siete plazas de hito no hay. Ay, aquí no ha temblado todavía, ¿dónde tembló? Aquí no ha temblado. Tengo los cuintas. ¿Por qué las cuintas? Vaya, salita. Vamos a ver. No, aquí no se siente. Aquí no. Oh, either here. No. Okay, so. Okay. Yeah, I got to go for you. Okay, so 
Ok, sí, definitivamente. Creo que nos, nos tomó por sorpresa. Esperemos que no, no haya yeah, entendido eso. Ya no, ya no dormí. No, come on. <laughs> so, amor, relax. Take it easy. Respira en profundo. Ok, take a breath. Ahí está. Yeah, I'm fine. Thank you. Fine. Okay. Solo el right? Yeah, I know. Okay. Okay, so, so we are about to finish here. Gracias infinitas a todos. Thank you very much for um, oh, being thank here. You for you. I am going thank to you. fix this problem. Okay, thank you, no teacher. So, um, teacher. Let me see. Terminamos con la sesión eh, number two. Si sí, podemos avanzar en la plataforma. Eh, por ahí Roxana tenía una pregunta. Roxana, si ¿sí la puede compartir al grupo de, de WhatsApp, okay. please, para que por si alguien más la tiene, right? Y así también lo utilizamos el recurso. So, thank you everybody. Have a good bye. night. Thank you. Good night. Right. Thank you for the Have a good night. Take care. Good night. Take care. Bye. 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 Thank you so much. See you. Later. See you.